I grew up watching Wonder Woman, and she'd stick out her ring, and nobody knew who she was, and then, then you know. So I feel like I'm this orchestral player, who you know, a lot of people still don't know that I play hockey. My name is Katya Linfield, and I play cello in the Minnesota Orchestra. I also play forward and sometimes defense for the Ravens hockey team. It's a team from WAM, which is Women's Hockey Association of Minnesota. The Ravens home ice is in St. Paul at the Pleasant Ice Arena. I'm Eric Ripple, the principal timpani of the Minnesota Orchestra. And I'm also the left wing of the Minnesota Orchestra hockey team. Eric Ripple, Marshall High School. Dave Williamson, St. Paul Highland Park. Silver Einoma, Sibelius Academy. We don't have an official hockey team. It's just the three of us for now, but we're recruiting. This is the Roseville Oval. It's the largest refrigerated outdoor ice sheet in North America. We're here partly because this place has had ice since the middle of November. And then there's pickup leagues that Silver and Eric and I play in, full pads and stuff at night. I am originally from Boston. I came to the Minnesota Orchestra in 1990, a long time ago. I think the hardest thing for me is, I'm used to snowy winters, but winters here, when I first came, were much colder. And winter has not gotten easier. But luckily, when I turned 50, I found this new passion, which is playing ice hockey. And that definitely keeps me going through the winter. I do play hockey all year round. I play a scrimmage at least twice a week, all summer long. And then there are hockey clinics and such a lot of opportunities. And this is all women's hockey. When I tried it out, I loved it so much. And I started going to Monday morning scrimmages because Monday's our day off at the orchestra. It was so fun to be part of a group of people who love what they're doing on the ice. And growing up, I wasn't able to be on a team because I had to be practicing my cello. I mean, the orchestra is a family and there's amazing camaraderie in this orchestra within my section and within the orchestra itself. There's something very different about the camaraderie on the bench at the hockey game. We're all just sort of letting loose on the ice and I just loved it. And then add a little adrenaline to that. I'm not an adrenaline junkie, but I do have competition in my blood. <laughs> so I'm pretty competitive, which, you know, I feel like I'm a really nice person, but when I get out there, this sort of harder side comes out, which is kind of fun. During my trial week to join the orchestra, one of the first interactions I had was with Dave Williamson. He just came up to me, he's like, oh, so you're from Minnesota, huh? I was like, yeah. And I'm all nervous, trying to be polite and do the right thing. And he's like, you play hockey, right? And I was like, actually I do. And he's like, good. Even that little bit of interaction was comforting to me that people can hang out here. They have plenty of interest outside of the orchestra and uh, that one is a particularly passionate one for me. The majority of my childhood, I did mainly hockey, and then I started playing drums. I also did dancing, tap dancing, ballet. I had to make a decision around 11 or 12 years old between hockey and varieties of dancing, and I chose hockey. It's really liberating and spontaneous, kind of like jazz in one way, kind of like classical music in another way. I'm from St. Paul. I play bass in the Minnesota Orchestra now, of course, but I went through organized hockey, peewees, bantams. I played for my high school. But when I was 15 years old, it, it, it occurred to me I play bass better than I play hockey. I'm not going to make the Gophers, but I still play. And I coached. Uh, my son ended up playing high school hockey in St. Paul, and I was his coach through squirts and peewees and, and all that. So I got my coaching license, and, and I've never stopped playing. In Finland, everybody either plays hockey or figure skates. So I started playing some hockey. And 2016, I moved to Minneapolis. Soon after that, Dave Williamson, who, who basically came to me and said, like, 
well, we gotta go and get some skates for you. And then after that, he was like, well, there are these indoor games, and so we gotta go and get you full gear. And so I did. And then I started playing, and then I think the most active year I had, I played about 90 hockey games, plus all the outdoor skates uh, in a year. So it's been a lot of fun. Well, Eric's got the stick handling, some very nice dangles, good moves. Silver can skate super fast. He's got incredible vision too. Silver knows how to stop now too, which is also good. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> not, not at the boards. But, yeah, uh, exactly. And Dave keeps his eye on the puck well and good defense. He knows where to be and like how to position himself to be available for a pass or spread out the players on the ice. I'm sure he was a sniper back in his prime. As a musician in an orchestra, there's so much like peripheral attention and vision that you use. Even if you're looking at the music, you can see the conductor without looking up, and then there are things you have to listen for. So hockey is very similar, but I'm still learning to be more aware. So in hockey, they say you, your head should be on a swivel. So you should always be looking, even if you have the puck. I'm just in another world when I'm on the ice. During the pandemic, we couldn't play hockey. So it just so happened that at the time, I had a very large backyard. So I built an ice rink 20 by 30 feet so that I could still skate and get my therapy in. And it had poles and lights and a net and I had a bunch of pucks and it was great. Whether I'm playing defense or offense, it's like about passing and quick creativity. And that's the flow space that hockey demands of you. But the way of thinking what happened before, what happens now, and what's going to happen after, in a much slower way, that's kind of what I'm doing on timpani, but it's super high pressure. And in hockey, it's high pressure, but there's an allowance for flexibility, which I love. I love playing with these guys, and like I say, they're some of my best friends, and it's a great sport for us. As long as I can do it, I'm gonna do it. It's nice to be active, and it's, it's good to promote that kind of lifestyle, so have a good balance between playing the instrument and, and studying music, and then just going outside and meeting people that have nothing to do with uh, our profession. When you connect to things you did when you were growing up, you always have a certain feeling of like rounded self, feeling of wholesomeness, I guess and flying on ice. It's a unique sensation, and that's just skating, and then playing hockey has got spontaneity, creativity, quickness, and analysis, all in like a few moments. What I love most about hockey is I just feel like I get to let everything go, and just be in the moment, and hopefully do good things on the ice.